Hello everyone, this is Yasser from Fairfax Quiz Center. In this short video, we will explain how to work in ALM site administration, that is to create a domain, create the projects, create a users and their password, and finally assign the projects to users. So let's start. We have this VMware player icon on our desktop. Uh, double click on VMware player icon to run virtual machine. In order to work in ALM, we have to go for lab server, double click on lab server machine and give it some time to boot. Once you are in virtual machine, double click on Internet Explorer to open the application lifecycle management tool. Here is the URL for application lifecycle management. We have to work in site administration to create the domains, projects, user and password and assign a projects to user. Click on site administration link into the password that is given to you in your slides if you forget the password I have this text file and this is the password for our ALM administration site click on login button since we are using the trial version we are getting this warning message click OK in the left side panel, you will find the existing domain. I already created Fairfax QA domain earlier just for the testing purpose. For this short video, we are going to create a brand new domain. Click on create domain button. Enter the domain name. I'm creating finance domain. Click OK button. And you will see uh, the finance domain has been created successfully. The next step is to create the project in this finance domain. Click on create project button. We will be shown four options. Uh, create an empty project, project from a template. Just keep the default option and click on next button. Enter the project name. I'm going to create one project with the name client report. It's giving us the option to uh, select the domain. So we want to create client report project in our finance domain. Click on next button. Here is the database configuration. Keep the default option. Click on next button. Hit OK. It is also showing us an option to assign a user to uh, you know, our future project. Uh, but we will create a brand new user and assign a project to it. So keep the default option and you don't need to select anything here. Click on next button. Click on next button, just ignore it. Here is the summary of the project and its selected domain. Click on create button. It will take some time to create the project. So just uh, stay put. So after some time, you will get this information window. Project client report was created successfully. Click on OK button. And if you will see the left side panel, um, there's one finance domain and under the finance domain, we have the project folder. And there's a one new um, project client report is created successfully. So next step is to create the site users. Click on site users button. Here is the list of all available users. Uh, we are going to create a brand new user. Click on new user button. Enter the user information. And the username can be like Chris. Full name. Christopher, enter any email address like chris at gmail.com. Phone number can be anything. And click on OK button. You will see in the left side panel we have a new user Chris uh, with the full name of the Christopher. The next step is to assign a password to Chris user. Click on this password button. So you can assign any password to the user. I'm just entering like one, two, three, four, five, six. Enter the reconfirm password and click on OK button. So you will get this information window. The password was changed successfully. So we created a brand new user with the username Chris and set up his password as 123456 and this is the user information. Once the user is created, you can assign a project to that user. 
in order to do that click on user project tab you will see the list is empty it means the user Chris doesn't have access to any project click on select project button you will see in the right side the panel has appeared this panel has a list of all domains the Fairfax QA that was created earlier and the finance domain that we just created click on finance domain and you will see this small plus icon on the left side click on this small plus icon and here is the project that we just created click on the checkbox as soon as you will click on the checkbox this arrow button will be enabled now it means that we can select this project for this user click on small arrow button and here we go so now this user Chris has access to client report project now we successfully created the user Chris um, let's test the user Chris has access to client report project click on logout button click on the home icon okay uh, now click on the ALM desktop client we will understand the ALM desktop client later in the videos okay the your name is Chris enter the password one two three four five six and click on authenticate button okay so here you will see the sub options we have to select the domains and then the project so far um, the ALM is selecting the finance domain and there's only one project in the finance domain that is a client report so if they, there will be more than one domains and there will be more than one projects you have to select the corresponding domains and their selected project where Chris has access click on login button And here we go uh, this is a brand new project client report and you have all STLC um, phases of this um, client report project we will understand this ALM desktop client later but just to show you that this now Chris user has access to this project and can actually access to all the artifacts that will be stored in this uh, dissolve folders later thank you very much and we will look forward to you in, in the next video